Oh man, Triple H, what are you doing? You are sick in the brain, bro. Why would you book this? One-on-one -on -one against John Cena on the mic in Boston, Massachusetts, of all places? What kind of stuff is this, man? You trying to annihilate my boy Austin Theory, man. Jeez, I don't know if I'm about to watch a funeral, a murder, or a promo, or a mixture of all three, but I know at the end of the day, it's not gonna be good for Austin Theory, man. But anyways, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. Let's get into this mess. Something good. You have the best name in WWE history. Oh, here we go no, with no, the backhanded compliment. It. Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rock. The Undertaker. There is no name better than Austin Theory. Austin, relax, man. Don't fall for this. Because that's exactly what you are, a theory. No, oh, man. In theory, you should be great. In theory, you're everything a WWE executive looks for. You look great, you work hard, you jump fast, you run fast. In <laughs> theory, everyone here should be here to see you. But no one cares. Hmm. And you're wasting our time. So on behalf of Boston, we would like to give you a gift. Shut up. Turn around. Get out of the ring. And we will let you walk out of here in one piece. First of all, John Cena just incited to riot. You, you, you heard that. Second of all, Austin Theory, please just take the pass, bro. Put it in reverse, turn around, and get out of there. It's, it's for the best on one of your fans. Get out of there. You don't want this. You don't want it, man. You know what? No, no, I'm no, 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 no. Go get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Whatever you better say, it better be the best promo of all time. If not, John Cena is going to destroy you, man. I don't want to see my guy get destroyed, man. And I know it's about to happen. Going anywhere just like that bald spot on your head ain't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need that bossy. Oh, oh, it's still there. <laughs> Proud of the senior circuit, baby. Oh, uh, he owned it. You're proud, huh? You got a little reverse on everything. Make everything so good. But you know what's funny? I look around and I, so I see all these <laughs> shirts. In fact, I see the same shirt right here. And it says, never give up. But wait, wait a second. Is, is John Cena saying no? Is, is John Cena saying that he's giving up? No, no, no. This man's about to get, he's about to get annihilated. That is not what he said. By saying no is not giving up. He messed up. It's over now. He tripped up. You should have just went on Reddit and found jokes and just used those. You don't have to try to get all deep and cerebral with John Cena. You're not going to win that battle. In, in, in the hat, the hat says respect. Where's the respect for all of them? Huh? You have a golden ticket against the greatest United States champion at WrestleMania and you're gonna give up? It's... Where's the hustle? Where's the loyalty? Where's the respect, John? I mean... I mean, don't you all want to see John Cena at WrestleMania? Well, shut up because he said no. Okay, that was a nice flip of him trying to turn the crowd on John Cena. I would have flipped it and then asked the crowd if they want to see him at WrestleMania and then said all the other stuff. But I get what he tried to do, but this is John Cena we talking about, so it's not going to matter. 
But you know it's what? You know matter. what I've, I've realized? You being my childhood hero, all of this. Boston, I want you to pay close attention to this. Because they are right. And they talk a lot, but they are so right about this. You don't want to meet your hero. Because all they do when you meet them is disappoint. But it doesn't apply. First of all, John Cena does not care if you disappoint him. Also, all the fans in Boston are happy about his career. Second of all, he's one of the greatest Make-A-Wish uh, wrestlers of all time. So how does this even apply? This is... I could have wrote this stuff. He about to get destroyed. Yes, I would so much rather be bald than have them pipe in fake crowd noise for my matches because nobody cares. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I can go buy some topic. You still suck. You really are a dumb son of a bitch. No. No, he dropped the B on you. I didn't say no because I gave up. I said no to save your ass. You're not ready. Dude, you're, you're really putting my back against the wall, but you don't understand. If you and I have a match at WrestleMania and I win, you lose everything. You're done. You're done. And if we have a match at WrestleMania and you win, you lose everything. Oh, I'll, no, I'll sure, say. sure. You may win the day, but then you got to go out the Monday after all by yourself and explain you won't have me to lean on no it'll just be you big man against the most harsh vocal ruthless critical audience in the wwe and they will eat you alive because they see what i see and they see what they see you are full of crap This is very, oh my God, he's he's so cerebral. He's in the man's head saying, if you win this match, it's going to be bad for you. If you lose this match, it's going to be even worse. And uh, John Cena is, is great at involving the crowd in his promos and making it 10 times better than what it is. Austin Theory tried to do it, tried to flip the crowd, but you can't do that in Boston, bro. It's not going to work. But you really left me no choice because you brought them into it. Now you got yourself into something. I got to ask them to see you what we're going to do. Of. Boston. Before we get all WrestleMania rowdy, I want to thank my family and I want to thank my family for being here tonight because it really means a lot to me. And I'm asking for help. I need your help way up there. I need your help in here. I need your help. I need to know what to do. We're going to make a decision right now. Do you want to see Austin Theory versus John Cena at WrestleMania? You'll have to pardon my senioritis. It's not just the hair. My hearing's going as well. <laughs> Do you want to see Austin Theory at John Cena at WrestleMania? Dude, I may not care about you, but I'll never give up on them. All that stuff Austin said don't even matter no more. Just like that. Remember this moment. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. At WrestleMania, for the United States Championship, it's going to be Austin Theory versus John Cena! I wish you luck, dude. You're going to need it. Because we all know you don't have it here. We all know you don't have it here. And we all know you don't have it here. Oh! That's his way out. That's his way out. Austin, call HR, get your lawyers ready, 
So they get you out of this match and get John Cena out of here, bro. This is the only way. This is your ticket out of here. Just take it and run, bro. You don't want to do this yourself. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You really need to work on that last bit. Oh. I don't know if I want John Cena telling me that. You know what? In no way, shape, or form are you ready for the WrestleMania stage. He got more. But Boston deserved to see somebody that is. Boston, Massachusetts, I introduce to you the nightmare, the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Awesome, there you should have looked up. I mean, it wasn't as bad as Roman Reigns when Roman Reigns forgot his line. That was really bad. This was pretty bad for Austin. <laughs> it's pretty. He didn't get buried, but it was pretty bad for Austin, man. He could have just looked up some Reddit posts and try to see the, if he can find some John Cena jokes and try to spin it and make his own version of it. But obviously, he didn't do that. And what he tried to do didn't even matter at the end. Now, all we remember is what John Cena says. And that's what happens when you're great on the mic. What the other person does says really doesn't matter. And everybody remembers what you're saying, unless you're on the mic against somebody who's good at being, you know, good on the mic as well. But I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do this. My assumption is that Austin Theory is going to have to win by cheating at WrestleMania because there's no way they're going to have him win clean against John Cena unless John Cena wins and then they have a second match and then Austin Theory cheats. That's the only way that can happen. John Cena probably win at WrestleMania and then uh, Austin Theory will, will cheat on Raw following WrestleMania. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I want to say eight town down, but today I can't. I can't. Thank you. Salute. Peace. Have a good day.